Hey there, welcome back to our channel. In today's video, we will explain how to install and configure NFS server on Ubuntu 24.04. NFS is an excellent choice for sharing folders between the system in a network. Whether you are setting up a lab, managing server data, or working in a cloud environment, this tutorial has got you covered. What is NFS? NFS stands for Network File System. It allows you to share the files and directories over the network as if they were local. It's lightweight, reliable, and perfect for Linux environments. Let's dive in. Before we start, ensure we have the following. A running Ubuntu 24.04 instance, local user with pseudo privileges, two systems in the same network for testing. Once ready, let's move on. I have already taken the SSS session of my Ubuntu instance. This is the IP address of my Ubuntu 24.04 system. All right, the first step is to install all the available updates. For that, run the command. Next, install the NFS server package. For that, run the command. Once installed, let's create and configure the directories that you want to share via NFS. In my case, I will be sharing slash where slash NFS underscore share folder. Make sure that folder exists. If it doesn't exist, create the folder using the mkdir command. Next, set the required permissions on this folder. Next, configure the NFS exports by editing the NFS configuration file that is slash utc slash exports. In this file, put the entry is something like this. This is the path of the directory on the NFS server that will be shared. This is the subnet of client machine. Means the machines which are on this network will be allowed to access this NFS share. These are the permissions for this NFS share. Here, RW means Clients on this subnet will able to access this NFS share with read write permissions. Sync ensures here that changes made by the clients are returned to the disk immediately on the server. No underscore subtree underscore check means it disables the subtree check. It will skip checking the entire file hierarchy of an exported directory. Disabling this improves the performance, reduce the potential access issues, especially for nested directories. In case you want to allow this share to a specific IP address. For that, you need to replace this subnet with the single IP. So using this entry, this share will be allowed only to this IP address with these permissions. If you want to allow this NFS share based on the FQDN or the host name of the client machine. For that, you need to put the entry something like this. You need to replace this IP address with the host name of the client machine. Let's say db.example.com 
if you want to allow all the machines on this example.com in that case you need to replace this db with the star so entry would be something like this okay i am deleting the below three entries now save and close the file in order to make these changes into the effect, I need to run the command sudo space export fs hyphen a. Now check which shares are exported. All right. The next step is to allow the NFS port in the firewall. This is only applicable in case firewall is enabled on your Ubuntu system. Let's verify it whether the firewall is enabled or not. For that, run the command sudo ufw status. Output confirms that firewall is running here. So I need to allow the NFS port. For that, run the command sudo ufw allow from subnet of your client machines. In my case, it is 192.168.1.0 slash 24 to any port and then NFS. Hit enter. Reload these changes. For that, run sudo ufw reload. Now check the status again. This entry confirms that NFS port that is 2049 is allowed for this subnet. We are done with the NFS installation and configuration part. Let's move to the client machine. Try to mount the NFS share there. We are using RHL9 as NFS client. On the client machine, Install the NFS client package first. Run the command sudo dnf install nfs utils. Now mount the NFS share using the mount command. Then sudo mount IP address of your NFS server colon followed by the NFS share slash where slash NFS underscore share and the mount directory. In my case, mount directory slash MNT. So hit enter run df capital th slash mnt great the output confirms that remote nfs share of type nfs4 is mounted on slash mnt folder all right let's try to create a sample file under this nfs share All right, now go back to the NFS server. Do LS share. This mounting of NFS share on this client machine is not persistent across the reboot. Whenever we reboot this machine, this NFS share will not be mounted automatically. In order to mount the NFS share, permanently, we need to add the entry in the first step file. So this is my remote NFS or IP and this is the NFS share path. 
and this is the mount point on which this NFS share will be mounted. Type of this file system is NFS and uh, we are specifying the defaults entries. Save and close the file. And then the command sudo space mount minus a and type df command again. All right. This confirms that our NFS is mounted successfully on the MNT folder. That's all from this video tutorial. I hope you have found it useful and informative. Please do like the video and subscribe to our channel for more tech tutorials. Thank you. Bye. Have a nice day. See you in the next video.